What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights of Smash Bros. 5, where this is the fifth game in the Five Nights of Smash Bros. series, and of course, this game is made by Luigi Aiden, like with the other games. And as you can tell by the menu, this game is going to be taking place in a sewer because because the menu shows a sewer, which unlike the first, second, and third, and fourth game, this one shows a sewer on it, whereas the other four games show Mario. On it. But anyways, without further ado, we will start a new game, see what it has to offer for us. Ooh, and we get the water effect for when we start the night. Nice, I like that effect. Hey, hey, is this, is this working? Yes, it is. Ah, great. Well, Corin, you're in the sewers. Also, I'm Corin in this game. It's haunted, and there's creepy characters there, so be careful. I think you're in the middle of the sewers, though. Yeah, so just be careful, okay? I will. Oh yeah, and also, when you see uh, some of those creepy monster characters, monsters, like where you are, use the jammer on the cameras. Some of them, you just gotta type their name. I okay. Think I'm correct though. Yeah. Well, good thing you brought a walkie-talkie with you though. Good thing. Because this sewer. I know, right? Back down there. You better not go back down well, there. I wish you luck on, Thank on you. your first night. Well, yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow if you decide to come back down the sewer, or if I see you in person. Alright, so, ooh, we got Mario on the camera. Alright, so let's see who we're dealing with, because we're dealing with Mario as far as I know, and, and they definitely all look like monsters because they have black eyes. Unlike the first, second, third, and fourth game, this game is in a sewer and not an office. Because the last four games I played, it was in an office. Alright, so this sewer definitely looks creepy. And it has lights in it so that I know where I'm going, thankfully. Because most sewers I know lead to like a bottomless pit. and Or to the ocean. That's the thing with most sewers, I see. Also, I want to wish everyone a happy Easter. I hope your day is going well, because my day is going well. Um, even though this is a rough time because of the coronavirus, I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy and safe. But anyways, we have the option to close out this camera with that X, but I'm not going to really need to be doing it. Alright, so if any of the characters come, we either have to use the jammer or type in their name. Okay. Okay, I saw Kirby on the camera. And I see Luigi, okay. So these characters are definitely creepy, because they're, they're monsters out there. Alright, so I'm going to have to check below me frequently, because these characters could come up in front of me at any minute. Okay, I'm looking. Alright. So this sewer definitely has a ladder, as you can see. I wonder if it's. I wonder if I climbed through it when I came in, because there's a ladder in the sewer, and it's full of lights, and there's actually no water in it. Like it's completely dry. I was thinking I was gonna drown in this game, but I'm not. It's just. It's just a completely dry sewer. Definitely an interesting game. To, definitely an interesting game to play in the sewer. This is definitely an interesting setup. And on the cameras, we can check other parts of the sewers, which I believe we'll be moving to one of those the next night. I don't know if we're going to be staying in the same one this night, but we'll see on night two. Because we're in the middle of the sewer right now. Oh, I see, I see Mario. I just said use the jammer. And I see Luigi. Alright, so Mario, we got to use the jammer on him. I don't know if we need to use, I don't know if we have to use it on Luigi and Kirby. We'll see when they arrive. If you're wondering why I'm playing this game, not the fourth game, it's because the fourth game, the camera kept cutting in and out when I was playing the game. Not not my recording camera, but the camera in the game. I don't know why. And then Kirby unexpectedly kept on jump screening me, or Mario did, even though I knew what to do with them. So I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't know why that happened.
Okay. So we have a jammer to use. Constantly checking the camera and the sewer because who knows who could be coming in front of me. I don't know who's if they're gonna be coming up behind me, but we'll see as we move forward in the game. But otherwise, they're coming in front of me. Okay. Just need to look in front of me. All right. Just looking in front of me. I don't know which way the characters are coming from this game. It's kind of confusing because the sewer is like a big place. It's like a maze, basically. And you have to walk through and find your way out, basically. Oh, gotta use the jammer. Luigi's here. Alright, got rid of him. Perfect. Okay, so we also have to use the jammer for Luigi, too. I don't know how we're going to deal with Kirby, but we'll see when he comes in. Unless if he comes in front of me on night two, but we'll see what happens. Just gonna look around the place. Oh, so they're all coming close, okay. Alright, so I got my hands near your computer near my computer in case if I need to type in one of their names because I probably might need to do it with Kirby or someone else. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta use the jammer on Mario. Okay, got rid of him. Perfect. Alright, got rid of Mario. Goodbye. I don't know who's coming up next, but I just had to deal with Mario. Alright. There's Luigi, use the jammer. Alright, got rid of him, perfect. I'm surprised the jammer doesn't make any sound. I was thinking it was going to make like a jamming sound, but it doesn't. Oh, I type in Kirby's name. K-I-R-B-Y. Okay, got rid of him. Okay, so with Kirby, we just have to type in his name for when he comes. Okay, phew. I thought I spelled his name wrong, but I spelled it right. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for Mario and Luigi, we have to use the jammer on them. With Kirby, we have to type in his name. Which I know to spell his name, because I've played these games all my life. I've played Nintendo games my whole life. So I know pretty much the majority of the characters' names. Okay. Alright, this game told us 7 a.m. like the other games. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's 6 o'clock a.m. Alright, so it goes to 7 a.m. and we have beaten night one. Perfect.
That's a really interesting sound. But anyways, we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button. Also, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all of your support you have given me. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.